Hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode. Oops, sorry. We're covering iCast with Alias. We got Jeff Little right here. He has a really cool YouTube channel. He posts a lot of stuff about torquitos and also he has a really good Instagram uh, reel channel. Is it reels now? It's reels? <laughs> it's mostly reels, but it's Jeff Little kayak fishing. There you go. I'm going to link his channel below and look. This boat right here, we had it on the water yesterday. It was amazing. So I think it deserves a proper walkthrough. And that's why I'm gonna jump behind the camera and I'm gonna let Jeff do the talking. So this is a three chamber inflatable. The center chamber we got is about 12 pounds per square inch. It gives it its rigidity. So you can walk back and forth on this and it's, it's like walking on the floor. Uh, the outer ones are a little bit softer at three pounds per square inch. The main thing that people need to know about inflatables is that they are crazy durable. People think, oh, you get a, you know, you run over some sharp rocks or, or you get it near a hook and it's going to go down. They think of it as a pool toy. It's not. These things are super tough. I actually grab it from the back and I drag it on the front. There is um, actually a double layer here and a double layer on the sides for, you know, and, and running the whole length of it just to give it extra durability. The main unique feature of this particular inflatable, comparing it to say maybe a stand-up paddleboard, is that it has all this track. It's top-loading track that's licensed from, from Yak Attack, so it's Yak Attack's design that Innovative Sportsman is, is working with them to, to pay for and to actually you know, license that so there's not a patent conflict there. But, the track runs the whole length of the boat all the way to the end, and you can get whatever you need to on there. Your Yak Attack VZ Carbon Pro, obviously we have the Torquedo on there, uh, the the Omega rod holders. Um, Jeff, but these are not mounts. just normal gear trucks, they're like dry gear trucks. Look at that, you have... So, yeah, you have four surfaces, and certain things, certain... Uh, accessories like you have a wing knob here that holds in the the steering you know you can do it on one two three and then underneath you can tuck tuck things in for four four different surfaces of top loading gear track so the seat is attached to it so you can move the seat anywhere you want along the length of it uh, this one has the the foot control steering of the torpedo up here Trey from Innovative Sportsman, he's going to be offering this as a as a motor kit, basically. So, foot control steering, and that's that's you know really makes this a super agile. You know, you could do donuts, and people love yeah, donuts. Yeah, we did donuts yesterday. <laughs> we really nah. spun around in it. This was this was actually not the one that was out there yesterday. Same model. This one is just one that's totally clean. Um, Trey doesn't have these for sale yet. Uh, it'll be on his website soon. Once he gets all of his track in, he'll be able to build it out. Uh, he's working on this, this high-low seat. And, um, you know, we, we talked about it quite a bit yesterday. The main advantages of the inflatable kayaks, shallow draft. You need about two and a quarter inches to get through. Um, way less water than a roto molded boat where you need between five and nine inches stability you stand up on this thing and it's it just doesn't move around it just you know i, I could explain it but once you feel it you know it's different it's no totally holes different. stealth is the other one so when you bang into to the bottom where you come into you know you hit rocks or or anything with a rotor molded boat or even like a hard boat like that, it makes a noise that reverberates out into the water. This, it's just quiet. But more than that, it's just the hull slap. When the waves come in and, and, and hit, you know, the inflatable, it just takes that. You know, where you're in your seat and you're shifting around and there's that vibration that's usually transferred to a hard rotor molded hull the fish hear that and it and it moves them out. The inflatable is just a very stealthy platform that doesn't transmit wave action noise, hull slap, moving the seat, bumping into things. It's just it's a stealthy craft to be in. So stealth, stability, shallow draft are the major advantages of it. 
but this one really unlocks the rigging capabilities. You know, we've got a T-Rain um, Yak Attack, you know, for getting your pliers on there. I got my motor lift for the, the Torquedo. It's coming up there. Whatever you normally put on there, I got a paddle holder, or a, yeah, paddle holder on this side, as many rod holders you want, whatever you need. You can rig it because you have that, that top loading track throughout the whole length on both sides of this innovative sportsman Osprey 1436. What is the MSRP on it? Not yet defined? He doesn't have it, but I I don't think he's going over 2000 I think it's going to be somewhere in that range. But if you're interested, InnovativeSportsman.com, you're probably going to have to just reach out to Trey and say, hey, I want one of the 20 or so boats that, that he's building out now. He's building them one at a time with the track. You know, he has a list of people that said, I don't care what it, you know, how long it takes or when it's coming out, I want it. If you wanted to get on that list, you got to reach out to Trey at Innovative Sportsman. And just say we thank you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, okay, so I was, thing I was about to ask how do you install the torpedo on this but it's right here you got some yak attack yeah, I mean part of the I think the motor kit that he's gonna have is gonna be this plate which actually gives you room you can do power poles on there if you want um, but it just bolts right to this cross member plate between the two and um, running the tubes here it just tucks in there and you can actually use continue to use the track even though that that tube is in there so you run the tubes you attach this plate and then the foot control steering it, kit to it and uh it's uh that's it it's a it's actually one of the easiest torpedo installs that i've done yeah because everything is outside can yep. you power this craft with this what's that can you power that with this oh it's too much uh, it doesn't make sense. What makes sense is is the ultralight on there. Yeah, but, but like, but what if you want to put, motor. I don't know, like a 10 horsepower engine on it? Can you do that? That's a three, right? That's a three, and this gets between 6.7 and 6.8 mile per hour. That will be the the top speed. That's the whole speed. That's what I got. I got between 6.7 and 6.8. Just no, out I mean there like, in, in theory, can you put like a 10 horsepower gas engine on this thing? Like, for example, it would need a transom bracket, but Maybe I don't know. And the Torquedo equivalent would be. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's gonna sink. The Torquedo equivalent of a 10 horsepower engine. Can you do it? Like, is it? Don't know. I haven't done it. I, I'm not really sure what it, it sounds would be like rated a, for. Our video is gonna get a lot of clicks. Right. <laughs> yeah. Just put like a giant motor on this thing and go 25 miles an hour, and hopefully you don't sink. Right. <laughs> well, I mean it's. No, it's basically inflatable. what I'm asking is what is the top rated motor um, horsepower for this? Like two and a half, four? I think it's rated for a five. Five, okay. But that's cool. a three. Yeah, that's a three. A three. Cool, man. Yep. Awesome. 